Okay, so here we are for episode number nine. Jumping down New Holland here. Beacons on. Starting to run. Already got the lights going. Yeah, still going to make a new field to make sure we have. Anyway, so that's a start. It's usually an option up the top there, which says to limit playing the fields. Which isn't there at the moment, but it's working, so never mind. So what I'm going to do here is just do a full loop around the outside. Maybe do another three or four runs down the outside. So we try and get it square without overlapping too much at the end and making it all out of shape. Considering Freeze there. Come on, just head down and do it on this side. Lower it down. Head straight through. Push up there and have a look. I think Just on the old old line. 
loop go. Miss a little bit of course, so we'll just come back and pick that up. It's gonna take a while to get this field play out I think. I had a bit of a look um, at the end of last episode at the price of doing sugar beets and potatoes. Now it's going to cost well over 100000 to get it started. Um, sugar beets are a little bit cheaper to get started by well, say 10 or 15000 so it's like we'll be starting with sugar beets. Just going to have to get decent yield from this harvest, a bit more money in the bank. It's probably a bit early to be starting with potatoes, to be honest, and sugar beets, but if we need to, we can always take out a loan, or even just lease the equipment we need. But obviously, I don't want to be doing this every harvest anyway. So, in the long run, leasing will be dearer. Cost you a certain amount to lease the item, then per operating hour you've got to pay again. And you pay it like the daily hire fee as well, so. Let's quickly touch up this other corner. That'll do. Just do another run around the inside, then I'll start going up and down. Just want to try and get it as, as square as I can. Now the other helpers that I haven't hired, they're finished cultivating and sowing the fields. So we've got barley over here, canola on this one. This one was supposed to be soybeans, big long one. But on, the, on his last run, when I went to check on him, so he was doing, I realised that I uh, forgot to change it from canola to sweet beans. And now I've got two fields of canola. Which will be good if we get a great demand. But seems though it's only day two, I highly doubt we'll get one this early. Gonna have to, to buy a new solar as well to be able to put the sugar beets down. So we get enough time this video then we'll 
set someone up down here cultivating one of the hive workers. And then I'll I'll head up and get a new sower. field's not very flat so I'm hoping we should be able to to get through it alright without too many bits that we miss. Which it has so far, so that's good. So we're still going to have to to get a bigger tether, or buy a tether, get a big one, bigger wind rower, get some hay bales going. So we're going to have to buy a baler. We're also going to have to get some straw bales going for the cows. this field has been set up ready to start growing. I'll, just, I'll skip through skip through the night, fertilise when I need to. Obviously we're not going to put oil seed radish down so I will need to fertilise twice. So double check the other fields so they don't need to be fertilised either. Which I'm hoping they don't. I'm hoping because we, we sowed first, we put fertiliser down with the oil seed radish, cultivated that in, so that's the second lot of fertiliser, and then we've sowed again, so that should be the third lot. the field slowly, definitely be quicker with a bigger tractor and a, a bigger play Albert. It's got to work with what we've got. So we're fully debt free, as I've said before. Just under 25000 in the bank. From those trees that we cut down, I think I've roughly got around 7000 that's that's handy bit of money just for clearing a bit of land. So I guess if you if you need money quick, you can either if you like doing forestry stuff, you can do what I did, or you can just go and help your neighbours out. Help the other farmers, and well, you can just solely focus on just your own farm. Don't help anybody. Be like 
like the idea though of helping other people out. It's definitely definitely a good addition to this this game compared to the last one. It would also be good to see them actually going through and working on their own farms. Obviously you know what fields they've got, it'd be good to to know that they're working just like you are and also they're selling stuff when they need to and that will affect the price of the stuff that you've got for sale. A bit of competition. So we missed a massive patch there. I'm thinking that's because of how the land sloped over. Outside view and keep an eye on it, I think. Really finish the field. Obviously, on the map, it won't come up as a legitimate field where we are now, but we know it's there, so. in these little bits. Might have to well seems to come back and touch them up. Not sure if it's missing because of the lay land or because I just started off wonky in the first place. Slide down there through that little rough bit. Three or four more passes, I hope, and we'll be done. Hoping we can use a hard work up now. It's we've made it into a field. Obviously, it's not a legitimate in-game field. It become standard, but hoping they should recognise it. It's not the most exciting thing to do, but I might as well show most of it on camera. Don't want you guys to miss out on too much of what I've been doing off camera. Obviously, I'll try and try and let you know what I am going to do off camera and sort of stuff like this. I'll make sure I show. Be up there. Might just have to come back for another pass after we go up and down just to touch up a few spots. We get 
up this end, I might turn the plough around and plough the other way. At least I know this line's straight, or reasonably straight anyway. Might be lucky, might not have to do another touch-up pass. Check, go around the outside, make sure it's reasonably square and tiny little bit there that's been missed. Let's come and get that while we're here. Hopefully. Yeah, it's picked it up. There we go. So the field's all pretty much done now. Just go around the outside and give a quick look. So you make it a bit bigger if you want to get rid of the dirt and stuff there, but I don't really want to do that, so I'll turn the plate around and just touch up this little tiny bit that we've got going on here. Lower it down. Try and keep ourselves straight. Right into the corner. much better. This corner is pretty much good. Probably do another run down that side actually, but we won't worry about it. Yeah, this corner. Just turn the plow over and just go through a little bit. Probably I won't make much difference. There we go, that'll do. So that's done. I'll take the plough back into here and drop it off. Let's, let's turn that bit of a spot there into a field for some reason. No button. Got attached, turn player, high worker, lower player, toggle side, map size. Which isn't even there. Oh, there we go, now it comes up. Is it why? Allow crate fields. Limit to fields. So now pick that back up. Stop that there for now. Let's just allow create fields. Might just back it in here and lower it. Let's see. Now it's turned off good. Okay, that's what we want to know. So turn our lights off. Bump this back in here. We'll just pretend that the holy bit dirt that's in the ground. Not me making a mistake. Turn off our beacons, shut it down, jump out, head around here, jump in our case, start her up, beacons on, get the cultivator, turn their working headlights and working lights on. Fingers crossed we can use a hide worker. Press H. Ingrid working away today. Yep, and it's working, so. What I'll do now is jump back in our New Holland I've got here. Jump to the store. It's got 24,000 at the moment. We need sewing machines. We've got this one sunflower, soybeans, corn, sugar beets. That one just does potatoes, so because we want sugar beets, <coughs> pardon me, well, sugar beets, we will we'll pick this one up. <coughs> so the base cost is fourteen thirty, and it's thirteen thousand to buy. So if we do this, it's probably going to use thousand dollars a day. So by the time we hit day thirteen, we will would have brought our own, so we'll just buy one. 
And what I'll do is a little bit of a cheat. We'll grab this tractor, reset it back to the shop. And then we'll jump back in it over here. It just saves you guys watching me drive backwards on forwards. You know, it's not very exciting. So we'll pick this up. Change some sunflower, soybeans, corn, sugar beets. Right. So we can stay on board with the lovely drive back. We have ten minutes left in the in the video, so roughly ten minutes. I'll try and try and get it saved within the ten minutes, but it's not likely I don't think. Up through here with the scenic drive. Got a nice pond, it's full of fish, hopefully frogs. Another water fill point in there. Look left up here, head around past field 18. Seated. Might need a bit of help there as well. So I head down and fill this up with seed. See how E grid's going. So it's just on the way back for a third pass. well, so we must have done a good job, so just duck across in front of her. Now I wish instead of having helper I, I wish I had to escape the names. Seventeen. So I'm not sure if that's a seed and that's the fertilizer. Press refill. Just refills the seed. So if I go over here. No, it won't refill anything else. So it looks like it's not going to fertilize it. So these ones used to refill sewing machines, fertilize spreaders, sprays. So really the blue palette there should refill this as well. Refill sewer. sure because you can put well there we go fertilizer pellets in there so right, so I filled both up There's not a lot of seeds in there 240 liters let's hope that's enough to, to get this done I'll turn around and put the front load on just in case It's only in the way anyway, so... It looks a lot heavier than the last solar that we had. It's a beautiful sunset over to the west there. Right, so come back to the start. Hit B to turn it on. B to lower it down. Double check. 
nothing else we need to do. We've got sugar beets set ready to go. Uh, we've got rich markers. Yeah, we do. Which we don't need them anyway. I don't think. Might use it anyway. Never actually used them before, so. Put our work lights on so we can see. Hide worker, we'll see. Doesn't think they need beacons, so I'm going to turn those off. Center, lower it down, hit key number three, just to get full speed. It's easier than just holding your finger on W. Stops your finger from getting sore. Grid still working away over there. Once we're finished. If we finish before the end of this interview, we'll just double check the soil composition, make sure it's actually it's actually worked, it's actually been fertilised. So lower it down again, hit key number three. And off we go. Definitely hard to see. I'd like someone to make a mod so when it's been fertilised, you can change the colour of like, the fertilisation. Say for when you come along with a sprayer, if you put a tinge of say red or yellow or pink or something in in with the water for the, the liquid fertiliser, you'll actually know where you haven't haven't actually fertilised yet. That'd be very handy, I think. Obviously, it disappears say after an in-game hour, as it would in real life. If you, you sort of sprayed it into the ground, it'll slowly just disappear. But just make it an in-game hour, so you've got enough time to fertilise your field and make sure you've covered the whole field, and haven't missed any bits. I'll probably have a go at doing that myself, but uh, honestly I have no idea how to do mods. I've got some good ideas for some good mods, but where to start and what to do, I wouldn't have a clue. Oops. 
make sure we do that. Well, we're not on another field. Because I think that may actually damage the prop. Also had thoughts of turning a little patch there into a field, but of course you can see the rock there, and I don't think oh, just a bit there. I don't think the plough would really like to try and plough through rock to make a field. So I think we're a little bit out of luck there. Obviously, we could have made this a, an L-shaped field if we wanted to. finish up. Might wash the tractors and that while I'm waiting. Once she's done we'll have to look at the soil composition. So it's been fertilised once so I'll wait for it to, to grow a stage. All these to grow a stage. Come back and I will fertilise them all. Let them grow another stage. Double check they don't need to be fertilised again. and we'll Come back on day three when we're ready to harvest. Harvest these other three fields and work out how I'm going to get the money to to get all the sugar beet stuff I need to harvest the sugar beets. So we'll call that an episode. Thanks for watching. Um, if you want to leave comments, leave comments down below. If anything you'd like to see, anything I should do better. Any ideas or suggestions you have. Hints and tips, anything like that. So yeah, we'll see you in episode number 10.